What is up guys, your Riddles, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. And in this video, we're going to break down the lands for Pixels. What are the benefits of owning a land in Pixels? Now, for you guys that don't know, Pixels is a social farming simulator. So yes, this is an MMO. You get to participate in your lands. Now, before we get started, I'm going to ask you to smash up the like and comment down below. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the lands we have three types of lands we have the regular land which is a land just it's called a land then we have the water land and then we also have the space land they come in two sizes they come in small and large small and large small and large so in each land you have different abilities to farm different type of seeds different type of resources and we're gonna go into all of that now there's only five thousand lands in total and there will be no more of these lands let's jump into the land so you guys can see it visually how they look all right, so let me go ahead and show you visually how these lands look so let's go to one of my lands right here 654 this is a large land plot let's zoom out and as you can see, this is the green land. This would be a water land. Now let's go ahead and see a space land. This is a space land. All right, so what is the difference between the sizes? So as you can see right here, this is a large land plot. Large land plots allow you to have 60 spots to farm. It also allows you to put four industries. Right here, I have two mining industries, and I also have two silk industries. So this is my small land. It only allows you to have 48 spots to farm. You can only put 48 soils. And right here, you can only put three industries i have two silk right here and a wood working bench all right let's see what are the main differences between these type of lands why would you want to own a regular land a water land or a space land so when it comes to planting seeds you can basically plant everything in a regular land but there is a few exceptions for example we have water mint right here and water mint can only be planted in water trade lands we got Astrocus right here, and we can only find that in space trades. So some resources are limited to the type of lands. Now, when it comes to the mining industry as well, you can put a mine in every single type of land, but depending on those lands, you might get different resources. So if you want to get salt block, you will only be able to get it in the water trade. If you want to get Voitonium, you would only be able to get it in the space trade. And a clay, you would only be able to get it in land trade. These are rare drops. So usually when you mine, you're going to get ironite. And sometimes you get salt block, voitonium, or clay, depending on the land that you have your mine on. So let's take a look at some of the benefits that lands have. We have extra bookmarks, very important. So you might have your lands, but you're going to need other people's land because people have different stuff in their lands. So as you can see, I have bookmarked right here my brother's lands, which basically are my lands. I have my lands here bookmark and I could put five bookmarks because I have a land. If you do not have a land, then you could put three bookmarks. So make sure you bookmark our lands if you guys want to farm. The next thing is extra inventory. That is very, very important. You can go right here and you get extra inventory. No trading limits. You get no withdrawal limit. Very important. You also get 1% surplus from farmers so when people farm you get a one percent surplus in your land one percent surplus in some industries some of those industries are the chicken coop so if people put chickens then you generate some um, eggs out of people using your chicken coop um, the mining industry as well um, and so on we also have the pixel earning multiplier we still don't know exactly how that's gonna work uh the multiplier for the pixel so basically you're gonna be able to generate the pixel token which is gonna be the ecosystem token for this game you can also instantly teleport to your lands which is very very important sometimes you're like in the middle of the map and you're like you know what i need to go to my land boom so you go to your land and they don't count as bookmark those are separate you have your lands and then you also have my bookmarks now let's go ahead and talk about land trades these are trades that are immutable to the land so if you buy them with this trades that means that you will have this industry automatically and it doesn't count towards the industries that you can put in your land and these are very important for example we have the coop if you want to generate chickens yourself instead of going to somebody else's land then you would need a chicken coop so you would press yes right here and it's going to cost you a little bit more and if people farm on your land you do get a one percent surplus of those uh, eggs that are being farmed the same thing goes with 
tree density. There's light tree density and there's also dense. The more trees you have in your land, the better so you can farm more trees and people can go to your land and farm more trees. You also make a surplus on the trees as well. When people farm, you get a percentage of that as well. Then we have the house. The house is not really that important right now. It's just more space inside your house. Inside your house, you can cook um, and you can put a bunch of stuff in your house, but it doesn't really matter if it's small or large. Maybe in the future, they implement other things that you can put in your house and this might come into play but as of right now small and large it works fine then of course we have the sizes that we have already talked about we have large and small then we also have the silo a silo is an extra storage so that when people farm in your land all the resources that you make from people farming in your land they go into the silo then of course we have the windmill the windmill is uh, an important building as you cannot find it anywhere else you would have to go to people's land or have it in your land you can craft different things in the windmill um, you do not make a percentage of anything crafted there but it is a very important building for this game you don't need it you can go to other people's land as well so it doesn't really matter if you have it or not you can always farm in anybody's land most of the lands are open to the public but there's only 5,000 of these and that is the importance of lands lands are basically the nodes that generate the resources that are going to be sold in the marketplace so in the future if we have millions of players basically they will have to go through all of these lands to be able to generate the resources to farm to get chicken um to get uh to use the windmill to use the the woodworking um, all of those good stuff so these are kind of the nodes of the game that generate the resource so it's a very important um, nft but you do not need it to play you can literally go to anybody's land and i will leave down below my land so you guys can go farm in my land i would really really appreciate it make sure you guys like this video Make sure you guys comment and let me know if you have any questions. I go live every single day, basically around 4 p.m. So I'll see you guys next video. Peace.